Listen up or run for cover. Bradley Bums. is dropping. The last question, because you're running yeah. out of time. I know I, you know I have to go and check see, in for a like mandatory. We, seems like we were yeah. talking 10 minutes, doesn't it? I know. See how it works? Yeah. So the, the last one is telling stories. Yeah. I believe that the best storytellers will prevail as the most, let's say, entertaining speakers. Yes. And that's why we have a two-hour course in Fripp VT on storytelling. And it's all storytelling. It's, it's, it's techniques, how to find them, how to perfect them. Well, uh, that's, that's the key right there because yes. here's the thing. Like, for example, I can tell people looking back, listen, looking back, I can see exactly what I did right and wrong. Yeah. And hindsight's twenty twenty, and it's easy to say, you know, here's what you need to do. Looking forward, people don't have the same benefit or advantage. So when I say, for example, success boils down to choices, it's just a fact. It just is. Yeah, and it people is. don't understand. It's like, you know, someone's in prison. Why am I here? You're in there because you made a bad choice. Or you made a series of them, period. End of story. That's why you're there. Uh, when someone's sitting in a boardroom in charge of 10,000 employees making billions of dollars, why am I here? 99% of the time, the choices that they made, that's why they're there. So if you really break it down to the simplest facts of life, if someone can just become a really good decision maker, their life will, will, will improve. And so when I go on stage, that's what I'm trying to do is get someone to understand simple, basic, common sense that will resonate after I leave. Like, believe it or not, 10X, I said, brush your teeth. I, I can't tell you how many people still hear, heard that. The whole conference was a buzz with brush your teeth. Of course, I said, brush your effing teeth. Yeah, that was brush your teeth and also... Look at your nails. If you're demonstrating or showing people around you got chewed fingernails or dirty fingernails, believe me, they won't buy whatever you're selling. Yeah, or or then I then I heard that Navy guy saying, make your bed. Yes. In fact, my brother used to have a retreat where guitarists would come. And one guitarist said, how do I play my guitar faster? He said, make your bed. Because you have to be a tidy, logical thinker. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, it's basics. But it's, if you've got a messy room, dirty fingernails, and your breath is awful, you're never going to get to the next step. Yeah, I agree with that. So my question is, yes. how do you tell, how do you find the story? Because I have a lot of good stories. All right. this Hold on, is, let, me, let me just say all this. Right. I have a lot of good stories. I can think stories up the yin-yang. I have stories like you can't believe. I have I funny stories. Believe. I have funny stories, sad stories, all kinds of stories. But I always fail to find the lesson in the story. All right. Well, this is my last answer. And perhaps we want to have another show another time that is only about finding and perfecting your story. Indeed we do. Because this is, <laughs> this is time to conclude. You, you, and there's a whole course in Fripp VT on this called Mind the Treasure Trove of Your Life. All stories are in your life. So you need to do a once upon a time technique, start at the beginning and do a timeline and what were the lessons learned and the influences, etc. And then what you might do is you, this is what I would highly recommend you do. You've got all these dynamic young people in here who work with you. And how about once a week for anyone who wants, you have a brown bag lunch in the conference room and you tell them some of your stories. You tell a story and then you stop and say, what does that mean to you? What do you think the point of the story is? And you have your own workshop here. And with that. Great idea. See, folks, if you guys aren't already following Patricia Fripp, I would go follow her. You can find her at 
by the way, Frip VT, I'm sure you probably already want to know about that. 25 bucks, learn how to be a powerful person. Oh, no, no, no. That's for my brother, Robert oh, Frip VT. I was going to say, no, wow. Well, the Frip VT is, for the first month, is $297. And then twenty nine dollars a month for as long as they like. That's for an individual. What about a business? For a business, you're going to talk to me. The more people you have, the different the price, you know, obviously. But to put this in a context, a year of Frip VT is less than one hour of personal coaching. So all my personal coaching clients, I say, look, you got to go through Frip VT first to get you up to speed. Thank you. Yeah, that's very wise. And by the way, does that help? Yeah, credibly. Like yeah. you don't, you don't need to repeat it all now. Yeah. So, um, you can find that at Fripp, V T F R I P P V T as in virtual training.com Fripp V T. You can find that you've got, um, an Instagram, I'm sure. Instagram is Fripp VT. Fripp VT. VT is my Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Everywhere. certainly Twitter. Folks go follow yeah. her, buy her yeah. books. Tagger, Bomb Squad, hashtag Bomb Squad. Hit her up in the DMs. You're familiar with DMs? Yeah. All right, good. So you're savvy? Yeah. Well, I wasn't savvy until recently, but like DMs are where it's at. Like you, you'll answer them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So folks, hit her up. Follow her, hashtag Bomb Squad. And if you have any questions about speaking, go to fritvt.com. Or if you have a sales team that you're really, really interested in raising their game, just again, let them go through the content for a period of time with repetition. I guarantee you, you'll, 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 the value of your human assets will double, if not yes. triple. Send me an email at Fripp, P Fripp, at Fripp.com. P Fripp at Fripp.com. We can opt for any company. We can have a demo, show you how it would tie into your corporate training. And with that, Brad, May I say to your audience, I hope you will remember me, but much more important than remembering me, remember what FRIP stands for. Frequently reinforce ideas that are productive and profitable. And with that, I want to thank you for coming by. I would love to have you back whenever you're in town again. And, um, Man, I'll tell you, I took a ton of notes, and you, you just keep helping me for free. So I appreciate, I appreciate that. I won't tell anybody you're my coach, though, until, no. I'm, a, until I'm a world-renowned no, speaker. No, because what I tell my clients is if you can't weigh it, it's not tons. So I also should, like, shave, put, no, put the suit okay. back on? No, that's <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. I got to go. Bye. Folks, <laughs> share this out. Make sure people hear it. And again, thanks for making Dropping Bombs number one.